Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another quick video from the QuickBooks Online Index brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. This time we're talking about how to add customers, sub customers, and projects in QuickBooks Online. Let's get right down to business, take a look at my screen, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, the first place we want to go to add all of those things is going to be found under Sales and we can go straight to the Customers tab. You'll also notice across the top you have the same tabs. So if you find yourself looking at products and services, for example, you can quickly jump right back over there to Customers. Now, let's start with adding a new customer. We're going to click right up here at the top right where it says New Customer. And you can fill out the form. I'm going to rely on you to be able to figure out how to do that. The main thing that you want to know that's important is right here where it says display name as. This is kind of the name that counts. This is the name you'll be finding that customer by in the list. So if you have some different sort of internal name by which you reference a customer, this is the place to put it. This is what you want to be able to look up in a drop down, right? So let's just say we're in a straightforward situation here and the customer is Acme Incorporated. Okay, you'd fill out the name of the contact, all the address, all the other information. Again, I'm not going to teach you how to do that. I'm assuming you can handle it. And we'll click Save. Okay, part one done. And got it on that one. Part one done. We've added a customer. Now, sub-customers and projects. What's the difference? The main difference is sub-customers, first of all, are how in the past we always created projects. So the customer hires us. We might be doing multiple projects for that customer. Each one becomes a sub-customer. There's other ways of or use cases for sub-customers. Later on in life, projects were introduced, which are cool. Projects are really cool. You'll find them here in the menu navigation outside of the sales section immediately, right? And so we're going to go a little bit backwards here because I said customers, then sub-customers, then projects. But I'm actually going to teach you projects before sub-customers so that you can see the main difference between the two. So when we're in projects, we're going to click to create a new project. Of course, we'll name that project the thing Acme hired me to do. And here's where we tell it which customer that's for. Right, and there's Acme Incorporated. And of course, you can make some notes explaining what the project's about and hit save. Okay, here's the main thing. First of all, the projects gives you this whole really cool area where you can track what's going on with the project separately. We have the overview, transactions, time activity, and project reports, right? Really cool stuff that you can do. Most important uh, to note is that what it tracks for you are income, expenses, and then the resulting profit. What's not here, what projects don't track, or any activity that's happening on the balance sheet that might be associated with that project. For example, if we invoice the customer to collect a deposit from them, there's no way to see that from here because that deposit sits in a liability account on the balance sheet and that's not income nor expense, right? So that's one of the key distinctions between a project and a sub-customer. However, as far as sub-customers go, you don't even have this kind of a tracking area, right? I can click into Acme. And this is the information about the customer. If I want to add a sub-customer, I actually need to back up into the customer list. And I'm going to click New Customer. And the setup is the same way you would set up any customer, right? So that thing I need to do for Acme, right? We just word it a little differently so that we can distinguish this from the project, is sub-customer. This is the key. And this is where we'll choose Acme. And save that. Now what this looks like if you look on the left is we have Acme and I have that thing with my typo, complete with my typo, that thing I need to do for Acme, right? I can edit this and fix my typo. And we'll save. Okay, and this is this is really the main difference. You don't have that. And but but what you do have with the sub customer is all the other things that you can track about a customer because a sub customer is really a customer that's just grouped underneath a parent customer, right? And so you'll have access to the transactions list. Here is where you can see projects though. So what I could do in theory is assign the project to the sub customer if I really wanted to. That way I have the best of all worlds, but just be careful what you're putting in the project versus the customer, right? If I click back up here to Acme, 
and I'm still in the projects tab, it shows me that project that I created, right? So this is different. Point is, either way, either thing can be accessed from the parent customer that we've created. Um, but there's going to be different things that we can do with a sub customer versus what we can do with a project. So what I suggest you do is play around with both, see which works better for your particular use case. That is my story and that is what I'm sticking to. Again, how to add customers, sub customers and projects in QuickBooks Online. Your very quick tutorial on exactly how to do it.